Welcome to another video. I'm in Portsmouth. Um, it's not the greatest of days, the weather-wise. My hair's all over the place because uh, I got caught in the back draft of the hovercraft as it left. Anyway, today I'm going to be talking about levers of change, about bringing about change in an organisation. What's quite interesting is actually most managers have no idea where these levers of change are. So in this video I'm going to highlight a few that you can look for, whether you're a manager, a leader, you've got your own business, you're running your own team. I'm going to give you some ideas about some levers to pull in order to instigate change, in order to release agility. And there's a tenuous link of course here at Portsmouth, there's lots of boats and they've got levers. When you pull a lever it makes a massive change compared to the effort of pulling the lever and it's the same in business. We want to find those levers that we can pull and they make dramatic change. They make big sweeping change. Change that is far more impactful than the effort required to pull the lever. So the first and most obvious lever of change is to look for delays. So what we're looking for here is delays in delivery. We're looking for delays in decision making. We're looking for delays in operation anywhere because delays often signify problems. They often signify handovers and poor communication and breaking down of work and building it back up. So you want to be looking for delays and one of the best ways to do this, and I've done a video on this already, is to staple yourself to work and follow it through the journey and find out where it gets gets delayed, where it gets stopped, where things grind to a halt. Now be careful because when you're looking at delays, sometimes delays are there and they appear to be a delay, but actually what it is is actually just complicated work. I mean, sometimes work just takes as long as it takes. Chinook. But sometimes work just does take a long time, so don't go jumping on a delay and thinking this is a delay because of problems or all sorts of other things, when actually it could just be that it just takes a long time to do the work. Now the thing is about shortening delays is we get to release value quicker, we get to get feedback quicker, and we get to make decisions quicker, and that's really what we're focusing on. So delays are one of the most obvious places to start. As you know, we're big fans of communication here at Cultivator Management, and hopefully the echo in here isn't too shady. But communication is one of those places to look, and this is lever number two, because what you want to be looking for is, do people have the right information to do the job? Do they get timely information? Do you as a manager and leader get correct, accurate information back out from the business? I mean, it could be very obvious sometimes how information gets morphed and twisted and presented back to leaders and managers based on what people think you want to hear versus what you really should hear. Because you've got decisions, you've got budgets, you've got focus, you've got energy and attention to direct into the right places. And if you're getting all the wrong information back out, then the chances are you're going to make poor strategic and tactical decisions. But really what we want to be looking at here is how does communication flow or not? And do people get information that they need in order to make the right decisions at a local level, around the work, around the customer, around the problems that they're facing day to day? Do they know the vision, the mission, the values, the goals? Do they understand the measures and the metrics? And do they get those timely decisions from leaders rippled all the way through the organization as quickly as possible? Communication levers really are a wonderful place to start looking because you can really unleash a lot of agility by making sure the communication flows to the right people at the right time in the right place. So another lever worth looking at is goals and objectives and sort of like the rules of the business because sometimes what I see is behaviours morph and the system of work morphs to become really uh, suboptimal and actually sometimes behaviours can become very toxic. Now if you think about toxic behaviours in an organisation, they very rarely start out that way but they often become that way because of the goals and the rules. So when we focus on goals, which are important to focus your energy and attention on the routines and habits that bring about the goals. But really the outcomes of most goals in business are actually outside of our control and what we need to be focusing on here when we're looking at levers to pull is are the goals so ambitious and outside of people's ranges 
and outside of the possibility, and I've seen some almost impossible goals in business, that actually people are morphing the system, the work, they're taking shortcuts, they're hacking away, they're making up numbers sometimes to reach those targets. But most of all, you wanna be focusing here on behaviors. So wherever you have toxic behaviors, the chances are you have a great lever to pull, and it could be that the goals and the incentives and the rules around those people is morphing these people into, you know, shadows of the former self. Goals, rules, that sort of stuff, incentives, really, really powerful lever to look at because sometimes we get massively ambitious and we try and, you know, dominate the world and become number one. And when we focus just on that prize, we can find we absolutely devastate the system of work and the people within it. So I've got uh, particularly fond memories of this particular spot here at South Sea, uh, Victoria's Festival last year was great. I saw DJ Yoda just over there. If I can find the footage, I will include it in this video. And the sun was setting and there were boats and ships and all sorts going past and ferries all going past in the background. It was just magical. It was a really, really great evening. Anyway, another lever that you need to be looking to pull is uh, the lever of can people change the process and optimize their work to deliver value to the customer. Now, of course, what we want to be doing is pulling levers of change at higher level leadership and management, but actually you need people in the mix, those on the front line dealing with the messy delivery of work to be able to change their own processes. Now, you need to be somewhat careful here because what you don't want to do is sub-optimize the bigger system of delivery from people optimizing their own work and not taking into account those boundaries, you know, where does work come from and where does work go to. So once you've mapped out the process and you know where work comes from and where work goes to, then you want to be helping people to solve those systemic issues, those problems that they face every day, giving them the tools and the rules and, you know, in some cases, the permission to make changes locally at a ground level, because there's nothing more frustrating than leaders making decisions about process and rules and regulations at the top that ripple down and then people can't change them. So you want to be really focusing here. I really didn't plan this video too well. It's absolutely tipping it down. I've got absolutely sodden. So anyway, next lever is you want to be looking at sort of moving on from that last piece really about can people change their processes locally. What you want to be looking at is frustrated people. You want to find those people who are brand ambassadors, who live and breathe the business, who would do almost anything for the customer to deliver value. They really believe in the business and what you're trying to achieve. And you hear the rain. But they're deeply frustrated. And what you usually find is that these people are so frustrated because they are sort of at that intersect between wanting to do the right thing for the business and the customer but then facing that bureaucracy that red tape those problems those systemic issues and what you find is this comes out in frustration and the really interesting part is that frustrated people in an organization they're the ones who care because if you didn't care about the business if you didn't care about doing the right thing if you didn't care about the customer then you wouldn't get frustrated you'd just be apathetic to it so what you want to do is you want to find those people who are deeply frustrated and then you want to help them work with them support them find out what it is that's frustrating them and try and remove those things this is a wonderful lever to pull because those frustrated people they'll probably have no problems at all in telling you where the problems are So another group of people to look for are those people who are really good at aligning people together. You know, these sort of natural integrators. They're the kind of people who um, just rally people around a new, a new idea, a new vision, a new mission, a new goal. And they are often able to cross boundaries. So they're very well connected in the organization. People respect them, people like them, people trust them. They've got great interpersonal skills. And what they're able to do is they're able to align people around goals and initiatives that might spread across functional boundaries. And these are the kind of people you really want to look for because they're the ones who are going to help solve those systemic issues, those ones that cross functional boundaries. And so find them and give them more responsibility, give them more things to do, give them more power, more control, more opportunity to make changes because they're probably craving it. And the other thing is they're able to bring people together, people from different silos, different parts of the business with different skills, different experiences and different knowledge. And these people, these aligners as I call them, they are a wonderful asset to a business. Hope you've 
enjoyed the b-roll hope you've enjoyed this video hope it's been helpful hit that like button if you've enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share these videos with your friends your family your pets your managers and i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video take care bye